everyone! Today we're going to have the story, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. The purpose of the lesson is for you to identify the cause and effect in the story listened to, sing a song showing cause and effect relationship, encourage others to be honest, and take responsibility in choosing your actions. Let's start! Our story is one of Aesop's fables, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Once there lived a shepherd boy. Every day he would go up the hill to graze his sheep. One day, he was bored and he wanted to have some fun. He shouted, Wolf! Wolf! Help! There's a wolf! The farmers working in the field heard the boys cry for help. Then they ran up the hill to save the boy. Where's the wolf? Where is the wolf? They cried. They looked around but there was no wolf. The farmers warned him against playing such <laughs> tricks and walked away. But the boy wouldn't listen. He played the same trick oh, again. Oh, help! There's a wolf! This time, the farmers grew angry. They said, If we ever do this again, we will not come to the rescue. And walked away. The next day, what the boy said for fun really happened. Yes, a wolf indeed came to the spot. The boy climbed on the tree and started crying out for help. There's Alas, a wolf. There's no a wolf. one came. Wolf. Wolf. The wolf There's killed the sheep wolf. one by one and feasted on them. The boy couldn't do anything but watched helplessly. Poor boy. The end. Did you listen carefully? Let's see. In the story, the boy cried wolf. He tricked the farmers. What was his reason? You're correct. Because he was bored, the boy played the trick on the farmers. Now let's identify the cause and the effect in this sentence. But first, what exactly is the cause and what is an effect? A cause tells why something happened. An effect, on the other hand, tells what happened. The cause is the reason, and the effect is the result. Between the two sentences, he was bored. He decided to play a trick on the farmers, which is the cause. Great! He was bored. The cause is he was bored and the result or the effect is he decided to play a trick on the farmers. But wait, he tricked the farmers because he was bored? Is that right? Uh-uh, that is a big no-no. Just because you're bored doesn't mean you can trick someone. Somebody may even get hurt. Let's have another example. The boy played the same trick on them, so the farmers grew angry on him. Why did the farmers grow angry on him? Because the boy played the same trick on them. What happened because the boy played the same trick on them? The farmers grew angry on him. Why? Because. What? Effect Cause happens first before the effect. The boy climbed up the tree because a wolf came. What happened first? A wolf came or the boy climbed up the tree? Great! The wolf came first so this becomes our cause and the boy climbed up the tree becomes our effect. Did you get it? You can understand it better with a song. Cause and effect, cause 
and effect First the cause, then the effect The cause is why things happen, the result is the effect Cause and effect, cause and effect If you poke a balloon, the balloon will pop Cause and effect, cause and effect If you step in a puddle, your shoes get wet Cause and effect, cause and effect Cause and effect, cause and effect Try it yourself! Sing a song showing cause and effect relationship by changing the lyrics. For example, When you study every day, you get good grades. Cause and effect, cause and effect. Or, When you eat too much candies, you'll get too thick. Cause and effect, cause and effect. In our story, the boy lost all his sheep because nobody came to rescue them. What moral did you learn? Encourage others to be honest. Write it down. Start with, I will not lie because... You should be responsible in everything you do because there's an equal effect to every cause. Do you know the causes of floods? Think before you act. Until next time, goodbye!